aid on here. Okay, so I'm on my Sardu menu here. This is on my uh, regular IDE hard drive on the USB adapter. I'm going to go here into Linux. And I just got through booting uh, Fedora Make Compiz because I couldn't remember which one it was, which version it was. It's Fedora 23. And uh, also I have Fedora Design Suite. And I think that's, well, you know what, I think that's 22 now that I think about it. Fedora Security, they're all 64 bits, so they all, they'll all run, you know, good on this machine. Um, they wouldn't run on a 32-bit only machine. <coughs> but uh, I'm messing around with the Netboot CD too. That's what I used to install the Bane. You can just install Fedora, several other, few other distros from there. It, it'll do a net install. Is what it does, it downloads the stuff for you. So it's a little, it takes a little longer, but it's kind of handy because you know you don't, you could, you you don't have to have a different uh, boot set up for every distro. If you want to, if you if you maybe typically install different distros, you know, it might be good. Uh, it did take, well, it, I don't think it took any longer. I'm talking about Netboot CD. I don't think it took any longer than uh, doing it, uh, the using the, the Bane Netboot CD. And that's not really why I got in here. I'm getting sidetracked, but uh, I'm going to boot, I'm going to go into this Fedora design suite. And uh, let's see, let's make sure it's booting. There's that noise. I don't know if it's just because the hard drive warmed up or you know the power supply is warmed up or what, but uh, I'm going to hit a key so I can see the terminal. I'm going to let you. That is the reason that uh, different tones will happen. That's the sound of the hard drive flutter spinning. But, uh, and it'll change tones depending on what it's doing and stuff. And uh, hadn't been doing it very much at all until just now. I don't know if it's because of I went into Fedora or if it's just how long I've been running this thing. Oh, okay. So this is... Yeah, this is uh, <coughs> this is a uh, genome desktop genome three, which I don't care for. Uh, so this is probably Fedora twenty three then. Okay, so is it going to go ahead and? I said I clicked on try it, and now it's give me another choice, or I guess it's just telling me if I want to install it. I can. That's what you get. It's kind of like looking at a mobile phone screen. And click over here. You can get uh, some. Let's see. You can search. That's kind of cool. This over here. Oh, okay. That pops out. So um, let's see. There's a way to get. Yeah, show all applications. And. The only thing that I really like about it is you can click on show applications and then say go up here and search. Well, let's see. Or you can just do this, you know, roll, take your mouse and roll. But if you go, uh, but the thing about it is, you know, my mouse is set to roll three pages at a time, I guess you'd say. So it'll, <coughs> you can't fine tune it. There's no bar to grab it. You can click on those dots. It's kind of like going to the next page, I think. Well, no, I don't think it, I think it'll skip some. Let's try it. There's no way to really tell if you're skipping any or not. But uh, frequent and all. Oh, let's hit all. Make sure they're all showing up. Frequent. But yeah, there were not any frequent ones. Okay. Guess it's just been booted up live for the first time. Okay, so <coughs> um, in, in my favorite uh, desktop, uh, Genome 2 or Mate now, um, so much easier to find things for somebody like me that's been using it since 2005 it is anyway you know this might be nice on a phone uh, I guess it'd be nice on a tablet but because uh, you can you know touch but uh, let's see 
Okay, I've put in a yum. <coughs> what I was looking for. What in the heck? It's making the noise again. Yeah, see, I wouldn't want to do a virus scan with this because it would the whole time it's working hard scanning, it would make noise like crazy. System. Okay, system monitor. <coughs> There's not. Let's see. What's over there? Yeah, there's the button. Well, the first time I booted in Genome 3, there wasn't uh, there wasn't anything up here to let you uh, log out. It was horrible. So anyway, um, I don't even know how. I was going to go into uh, Yum Extender. And I thought, well, this one has more apps, so I'll try. I'll show on this. So, because it has some audio video apps and stuff uh, added to it. So instead of being the basic, but I didn't realize it was Genome 3. So I'm going to get out of here, hit restart. I went ahead and took out my 32 gigabyte SD card because it got unrecognized again and I wasn't in it. And I was, and I just started looking through those Ubuntu menus. <coughs> I'm sorry, Sardu menus. <coughs> Hang on. <coughs> okay, I guess I should have stopped. Thought it would come right up real quick. Let's. I guess it's just slower when you're when you're using that uh, IDE hard drive in the adapter. I don't guess it locked up or anything, did it? Could have. I'm just gonna kill this video and come back once I see what's going on. <coughs> 